In this video, I'll show you how to install Homebrew for Mac OS. It's used for a wide variety of applications, but in my case, I typically install Homebrew just to run PowerShell directly from Mac OS. All right, so first step to install Homebrew, you need to open Terminal. So either command space to open Spotlight to find the program or hit the search icon. And that's it right there. Now, the first thing is we need to make sure that Xcode and Excel commands are installed. And you most likely don't have that, so you just... Okay, so Xcode dash select, space dash dash install, then just hit return. And then you should see this window pop up and it might be behind your terminal. So be sure to check that and click install. Read it, agree. Okay, one second. So this took so far, by the way, about five minutes. It said 20 minutes. Okay, so that's installed. And now back in terminal, we can actually verify that it was installed. Let's just type in Xcode dash select dash P. Okay, and we see, if you see this path here, library, developer command line tools, then it's good to go. And then now we can finally install Homebrew. So just paste this command. I'll, I'll have all of these in the description, of course, and hit return. Okay, so it's waiting for the password to the computer. Just type it in and hit return. And just continue with the installation. And then it takes maybe like 30 seconds or less. It says installation successful. It gives you some info, other info. So next step. So these two are important. You have to run these two next commands. And let me just make this uh, one line to make it clear that there are two separate commands here. Okay, so... And they're unique based on your username here. So the first one starts right here. That's the first command. And then here's the second one. Okay, so we want to copy and paste these next two to move uh, these certain files to this path folder, okay? So we just paste, return, and then this one, copy, paste, and a optional step is that we can disable analytics. Let's just paste this code, brew analytics off, return. And the very last thing here, if you actually will need to update this in the future, you can just try brew update. Hit return is going to check if there is an update. And it says already up to date, so we're all good. Hit the like button and subscribe if this helped you out and you were able to install Homebrew. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Take care.